hello, how you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. I did good. I got 20 bucks for the sign and 20 bucks for one of my paintings that I wasn't finished with, so I was cool with it. I just want to talk about something real quick that came in the news that I thought was interesting, uh, scary, but uh, hormone blockers for children. Why would you introduce that to children? Teachers back east were caught inducing children with hormone blockers. So you have to figure out what that's all about, right? Okay. What does it do when you do that to, I don't know, a sixth grader or a fifth grader? When you give them hormone blockers, um, I don't know. Blocking hormones sounds like it keeps them from, I don't know, going into puberty. You know, it keeps the boy from getting all, getting the fuzz on his face and his balls and starting getting his voice start, you know how yeah, the voice starts cracking? And girls, they start getting all googly and feminine and, you know, their boobies stick getting big and you know that kind of thing, that's pu puberty. So it stops that, but what else does it do? Does it accelerate that? So what were these teachers trying to do when they were feeding these children against their parents' knowledge? Um, hormone blockers. I had, I had, I came up with two conclusions because I'm a genius. The first is either to induce uh, same-sex um, identity, making girls be more butch, so they're just going to prefer girls, and boys be more feminine, just prefer them boys. And so there's no breeding that that way. So that'll cut the breeding in half and bring more to your side. I don't know. I'm just this is spitballing people. Or and the other one is even more sinister, although both are just twisted, is for sex. Is to get them introduced younger. Which obviously they're doing by some of the crap that they're pulling. But, um, so, just throwing that out there. I just was interested and wanted to know what anybody else thought about that. Uh, hormone blockers to elementary kids. What does it do? And why would you do that? Especially without the parents' knowledge. Things that make you go, hmm. Anyway, never trust the powers that be. Never trust anybody in authority. Critical thinking people. Anyways, with that, I'm going to let you go. I had a wonderful day. It was beautiful, sunny. And I talked to people. And a lot of people smiled at the sign. You know, too ugly for prostitution. Too honest for politics. Go figure. Anyway, I love you. God loves you. And the universe is crazy about you. Have a wonderful day. And keep that critical thinking going. Okay. Love you. Bye.